not Ajwa or Amba or Safawi, not Khudri, Kholas or Majul. 12 years she wanted to eat a fresh date so she wouldn't have any at all. Sayyida Rabia al Adawiya, from birth a queen amongst women, crowned in her slavehood by a lantern floating over her head in prayer, the color of yellow date flesh, gorgeous bright, fearful awesome, that shined with such authority her owner rushed to let her free from his dim house and into the desert. God taught her discipline. Her conviction was a date seed, firm stone in a world sticky with self-adoration, ribbed pit like stern lips holding under the foot of ostentation, never flattened, never crushed. The seed would rather be stamped deep in the dark of the ground, never bothered, never found, turning the divine love that left her hungry, thirsty, constricted and alone into date palms abundant, stretching out of the earth and out of herself entirely until her human needs fell off her like ripe fruit of a labored tree. The world was a festering of wants, of feasting and flaunting and taunting and men asking futile questions, of egos with greedy suggestions that never aligned with what Allah had lain out on the plate, which wasn't a soft, easy life or a sweet jewel date, but to rely on no one and nothing, knowing something and everything would fail her, that desire was the true cell and jailer, that the true love of her endless spirit was greater than the world and everything in it sweeter than Khudri, Kholas, Majul, Ajwa, and Ambar, and Safawi, fasting from all but worship of Allah the enricher, Al-Mughni, let her drop this crisp fruit of a globe from her hand and set her saintly free.